Hey everyone, this is Jaxie, and today we're going to get excited about history with Battle Academy. And right now, we are the British, and we are doing a little probing action to try to take this Italian fortress, which I am going to launch a bombardment on. Right now, we only have three Matildas, but I'm going to move them up. So this game came out in 2010. It was actually based on a BBC... Um, like a Flash game, they did a History of Britain series where they had all these little mini-games. And right now, if you hear that Italian, one of the cool things about the game is even with Fog of War, and even though it's in the languages of each nation, you can actually hear retreating units and routed units and when units are suppressed. So keep an ear out. But um, as I was saying, it kind of started as a Flash game that had all these different series, and a couple of them weren't even World War II. And they made this lovely little game. It's kind of a stripped-down version of Steel Panther. Like, if you look, there's not as many shots, and um, AP's not as big of a deal. You have simpler hard attack, soft attack, and armor. And if you look here, there's cover ratings, there is suppression, um, you have morale on units based on um, how big a tank is, how accurate it is, its caliber, you have chances to hit, chances to penetrate, and right there, because I hunted my Matilda, it crept forward more slowly and that maintained its accuracy, so I was able to take out that tiny Italian tankette, and they won't really present a lot of problems. And if you look, I actually saved those shots, so I was able to take React Fire and destroy a second tank at. This is going really well for me, but yeah, it's kind of nice. If you play Steel Panthers World War II, you'll know that, that React Fire can take days and days. Here, you get the three shots unless a unit is upgraded, in which case you get four. And you can either use two in your turn and have one React, or you can use three React. And right here, it's giving me a warning that those little rock formations with the question marks over them right by this tankette could have enemies, but we already know that, and we already know to suppress them and then scout ahead with the infantry. And the tankette's getting real close. You'll see it deflected a shot, so it does model um, based off those attack penetration values. And right there, that is going to be the end of their raiding force. So now we'll get some infantry and we can clear out those rocks. One thing you don't want to happen, so I'm going to suppress, is you don't want to send tanks near buildings or rocks or marsh or other rough terrain where you can't see because they do get a chance to assault tanks and it can be up as high as like 45% and it's really not worth it. And right there, I'm going to destroy that unit, but I don't want to move my tanks up just yet. Again, I'm using audio cues, and unless I hear somebody screaming in Italian, I'm just going to keep laying fire on those rocks until I can bring my infantry to bear. And here, we have two Bren carriers and some infantry, which is great for me. I'm going to move them up. Roads are obviously faster, but because we have tracks on the Bren carriers, they're going to do pretty well in the desert. And it seems like a wasted turn, but I am just going to have these Matildas lay down fire and listen for the sad screams of the Italians. And right there. So now, if you notice, I can move by, and even though I went adjacent to that rock formation, those units are suppressed, which means they'll sometimes take a react shot, but they're not going to do any sort of offensive a action. Units will recover suppression over time, and in multiplayer and the more complicated single-player matches, you actually get kind of like I have this artillery action card in the bottom left. You get action cards to rally units, so you really got to keep up good supportive fire, otherwise units will rally on you. And right here, I'm going to be really aggressive, dump my infantry out there. I actually miscalculated which rock formation they were in. So you'll see, as soon as I pop them out... They attacked. I did see them. Sometimes you can get ambushes from terrain like that, and then you can't get counterfire. But luckily, with the Brens firing, I've lowered their morale to 37. 50 is the breaking point for us. So you'll notice in a lot of these games, because I have quite a few lined up guys, I'm really excited about this series. Um, always shoot for 50 and keep an eye on it. And one thing I'm doing here with the assault. If you can get a unit below zero morale, 
and you're attacking with something adjacent, they will actually surrender. So, going to try to use adjacent units. And right there, long, long shot. I'm very happy about how that one went. They're retreating. Uh, move my Matilda up. There's no tanks, so I'm just going to use these shots. I don't really think they have anything that can surprise me right now so no need to save them sometimes if you want to be conservative you can save your shots for uh counter fire and right there we get the surrender so adjacent units attack instant surrender and they do have a tank yet but oh those cannons that's not going to do anything to a matilda i like that the game gives you matildas early because they're they're slow and they do have a two pounder so they're not super overpowered but they have enough armor to let people make mistakes and right there it says routed, and I hear more screaming in Italian. And if you look in the top left, there are actually kind of achievements. Like, even though this game is now in Steam, and it's real cheap. I'm actually going to link in the description. Um, Fanatical has a bundle now. You can get this game, all the DLC, and Battle Academy 2, and the Cursed DLC for like 5 bucks. So I'll link that, but yeah, it's just in-game achievements. But personally... I think they're much more fun, and I think playing an entire scenario shooting for the achievements makes it a challenge and makes a lot of the missions more dicey, because a mission like this, if you're going to take all day to hold the victory points and be super cautious, it's just not any fun, but being under a rush and trying to kill every unit, that's where the good stuff is. And if you look, even with my Bren fire, even with my Matilda fire, and probably could have used that Matilda first. They do kill my squad. Um, you'll see that the squads, they are five-man squads, so it's its definitely not realistic. This is a very representational game. But, um, yeah, it, it does represent a squad, and they get whittled away, and as they do, their um, HE fire becomes less effective. So it, it's good enough. It represents it pretty well. And I am trying to take these points. I do have enough morale to assault, and I'm going to try... And right there, thanks to my cover fire, another surrender. Yep, and I got achievement one, which is kill 10 units. And they shouldn't really have much left. I don't know where their other guys are. But I'm just going to blind fire for now because I don't want to get anything ambushed. You can't lose any units if you want to get the full achievement victory. So I do got to take it a little bit easy here maybe in here if i'm lucky and i do have my other infantry but right now they are suppressed so i gotta watch moving them up that's why i have the tanks putting full fire out and let's see the enemy force is destroyed so that unit was the last unit i don't even have to take the flags It'll show at the end that I got all achievements, killed 10 enemy units, and lost none. So good victory to start. I'm excited for this series. Check out the link for um, the Fanatical bundle. And sorry for the delay, guys. I plan to be posting more videos. I've had some tech issues and real life stuff going on. But if you have been pumped about up about history, uh, leave a like or comment or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.